Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's getting along well. <clears throat> I have a devo devotional for you today. This devotional is entitled, Where Do You Go For Advice? I'll be reading from my Bible, 1 Timothy chapter 4. Verses 4 through 10. <clears throat> For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, since it is sanctified by the word of God and by prayer. If you point these things out to the brothers and sisters, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus, nourished by the words of the faith and the good teaching that you have followed. But I have nothing to do with pointless and silly myths. Rather, train yourself in godly godliness, for the training of the body has limited benefit. But godliness is beneficial in every way, since it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. This saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. For this reason, we labor and strive, because we have put our hope in the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially of those who believe. Amen. All right, let's do our Bible reading, not the devotion. Each day we let either the world or God's word shape our thought. Although most of us are quick to say we believe the Bible, at times our actions indicate we're influenced by something else. Where do you go when you want advice about a big decision or lifestyle choice, websites, blogs, and media offer a wealth of information that can either be, that can be either beneficial or harmful. Co-workers, family, and friends also provide counsel, but do they rely on worldly reasoning or godly wisdom? The best resource for true guidance is scripture, but we often rely on human intelligence, and personal preferences instead. Hebrews 4.12 describes God's word as living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing into the deepest parts of the soul. Those who are reluctant to surrender to its penetrating work essentially reject the Lord by their refusal to listen and obey. But those who willing, willing to accept scriptures, reproof, correction, and wise nourishment will discover the riches of a life of faith. Letting the word be your guide requires costly changes in thought, attitude, and behavior. Yet any just adjustments or disciplines that produce godliness also result in eternal profit. And it all starts with going to scripture for direction. Ooh. Amen. Yes, we all need help in that area. Yes, we all we all get into the worldly wisdom instead of godly wisdom. 
from time to time. I know we need to go to the Bible more than to the world and social media. All right. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Hope it meant something to you. And until I read to you again, God bless you all and goodbye.